Hello, I'm Chris from the FPL Dude and welcome back to another Fantasy Premier League video for the 2020-2021 season. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the best predicted team for game week 30. So yes, this is a free hit video. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't be afraid to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Now let's begin building that best predicted team for game week 30. To be able to do that, I would first need to take a look at those upcoming fixtures. The first one is Chelsea against West Brom. I really do believe that this is a fixture to target. We need to target a few Chelsea players, which I believe offer us excellent defensive and uh, offensive clean sheet potential. As you can see, West Brom have been uh, pretty bad this season. Uh, they have scored only 20 goals and allowed even 57, which is the most goals allowed out of all teams and uh, the second worst team when it comes to scoring goals as well. Um, when it comes to playing it away, they've actually allowed 24 goals in 14 games and they've scored only 11 in 14 games so they do not seem to be scoring in every game and Chelsea defense at home have just been pure gold now in the last couple of game weeks they've allowed zero goals in the last five home games so I do believe that Chelsea does seem to be offering us excellent clean sheet potential I'm going to go for two players from that defense and uh, that is going to be Rudiger which I could potentially even upgrade to Aspilicueta because Aspilicueta does seem to possess a bit increased attacking effort and potential than Rudiger that seems to be the only difference between these two but that attacking difference is so slight so if you want to go for some player to own not on a free hit then it should perhaps be Rudiger but if just because of the money difference but if you want to go a player to own just for a one game week then it should potentially be a Spiliqueta that has a better potential to do better and as for their goalkeeper i am going to go for mandy i believe him to be excellent goalkeeper yes he does offer us excellent clean sheet potential in this one as we've said they play against west Brom and their defense have been phenomenal and uh, the next player i'm going to go for from this team i believe to be mount he has just been pure gold this season i believe him to be the only player that has actually been featuring almost in every single game this um, season I really do believe that he offers excellent attacking effort and potential especially now against West Brom Chelsea have been um, uh, very good and they've been playing very good now since Tuchel took over they are playing very good in the Champions League as well so I do believe that and they have excellent potential to do good now against West Brom I don't see why not uh, it's a long time until that happening but I still believe that Chelsea players are going to be rested and be able to do good against West Pro. Uh, the next fixture is Leeds against Sheffield United. I'm going to target few players from these teams as well. I'm going to target Leeds players, of course, because I believe they have good clean sheet potentials. Sheffield United have not been that good um, this season. They've scored only 16, go 16 goals in total. That's least scored goals out of all Premier League teams. And Sheffield have scored four goals now in the last five. And that as well seemed to be a bit of an improvement um, to their pre previously 16 goals. But I still believe that Leeds has excellent potential to do good now because um, Sheffield United does not possess that good of an attacking return threat. And if you want to go for Leeds players, then because their defense have not been the best this season, you want to go for a player that actually has some attacking return potential as well. And that seemed to be Dallas. He's very attacking. Um, Defender he does play as a midfielder most of the time. The next player I'm going to go for is just Rafinha. He has been pure gold in the last couple of game weeks. I believe him to be in an excellent form. As you can see, since game week 20, he just cannot stop uh, scoring. I mean, even before that, he got two assists in game week 14, a goal in game week 16, and so on and so on. But I really do believe that Rafinha. Seem to be the best player on the field when Leeds are playing um, similar teams or teams that are a bit weaker. And yes, he does not. Um, he is too cheap for that price as well. I believe him to be much more expensive next year. The next player we're going to go for is actually going to be Bamford. Now, Bamford is not going to be my starter for this game. Like I'm going to go for Bamford to be my bench replacement. And... Um, I will not 
play him as he said so I'm going to explain that a bit later because I do believe that two players from that Leeds team are enough. I went for th three players starters from uh, Chelsea because they do seem to be an elite team now playing uh, very weak uh, defense and offense now in game week 30. Well, Leeds are a bit questionable. Now I know Leeds attack have been um, pure goal this season, scoring for fun and creating a lot of chances, but they potentially seem to um, blink in so many game weeks as well. So yes, I do not want to risk it and actually double up on uh, Leeds offense there, because Sheffield United could potentially keep it clean and they do seem to manage to do that from time to time. Very, very rare occasions, but they they do it. Uh, the next team, we, the next fixture we're going to take a look at is Leicester against Manchester City. Now, this is not a fixture I would um, like to take a look at, but if you prefer, you could potentially go for some Manchester City offense because Leicester does seem to be allowing goals when they play against big teams. They have allowed goals from Liverpool, from Tottenham, from Arsenal, from all of these uh, teams. But I'm not going to discuss that fixture. I don't think that is a fixture to target. Their offensive effort and potential is just so low for all of uh, the players and defense, the defensive effort and potential seem to be low as well. Same goes to Arsenal against Liverpool. They could potentially score a lot of goals in this one and could end up 5-5, but this game could potentially end up 0-0 as well. So this is not a fixture we want to target. Southampton and Burnley uh, does seem to be similar fixture like Leicester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, because Southampton does not keep it clean in so many games, um, but they do seem to be able to do that from time to time, and I believe them to be able to do that now against Burnley, because Burnley are not a team that score a lot of goals. They score, they've scored only 22 this season, and in the last five, we can see that Burnley has scored only four. And they have only draw, 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 draw. So it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. These are the uh, results from that Burnley team's previously game weeks. But I'm not going to target any players from that fixture as well because I, I find it too questionable. There are a lot of other good, uh, good fixtures to target. Newcastle against Tottenham is actually going to be a fixture I'm going to target. I'm going to go for Kane on this one and I'm going to go for Son as I believe he will make a return now in game week 30. He has excellent time to recover. He has excellent time to get fit and uh, start training. If he does not get um, training time then I believe that Bale have excellent potential to do good. Now I know Bale doesn't, did not start in game week 29, this means he was rested, he should potentially start now in game week 30 if Son is not fit and ready to play. But I believe if Son is fit then Son is going to start as he is a key and essential player for that team and he does offer us excellent attacking effort and potential especially because they play against Newcastle. Newcastle did manage to allow even 3 goals from Brighton and Brighton does not score goals against any team they usually beat them by 1-0 to 1 at most they do not score three goals in a single game week not this season but they did it against um against them so yes the next fixture we're going to target now is actually going to be um aston villa against fulham aston villa does seem to be offering us few good choices to go for. I really wanted to go for Watkins, but his offensive return have been just terrible now since uh, Grealish have been injured. So I'm just going to go for one of their defenders. I'm going to go for Target because I do seem to... He does seem to be offering us the greatest attacking effort and potential out, uh, out of that team. And he does seem to have excellent clean sheet potential, especially now in game week 30, where he said Aston Villa plays against Fulham. Fulham have scored only 23 goals this season, that the third least goals out of all teams. And Fulham have scored only two now in the last um, games while playing at home. And Fulham have scored actually three goals when playing away now in the last five. So yeah, that's pretty good um, 
fixture to target and a pretty good defense to target as well. Target seemed to be the player that has the most clean sheet out of all players in total this season as well. That's an amazing stat to go for. So yes, he does seem to be offering us excellent uh, clean sheet potential in this one. The next fixture to target, Manchester United against Brighton. We could potentially target Fernandes in this one. Fernandes does seem to be offering us even captaincy potential in this one. Manchester United's form have been pretty good this season. Fernandes have been amazing. He seemed to be the best player FPL wise this season. He scores for fun. He is on penalties as well. So his attacking FPL and potential have only increased. He's an essential player to own with the best seasonal form. So yes, that, that seemed to be an excellent player to own, especially when they play against Brighton. Brighton's defense have been pretty bad this season. They've allowed 36 goals um, seasonal white and they have allowed three now in the last five. That seemed to be a bit, uh, uh, but this is only for them playing away. They've scored three. They've allowed only three when they've played away in the last five. But Manchester United seem to be an excellent attacking and uh, good team to go for, especially for Fernandes. The next player I'm going to go for from this team is actually going to be Shaw, but he's going to be my um, second bench replacement. So yeah, he's not going to be my first one. He's just going to be... My second bench replacement, my first bench replacement is going to be Bamford because I do believe that Bamford offers a bit higher attacking FPL and potential than Shaw, but not as high as those other starters. And um, the next fixture I'm going to target now are Everton against Crystal Palace. Now, Everton does seem to be offering us excellent attacking FPL and potential on this one. I'm actually going to be going for a player that has been familiar to me the whole season. Richarlison could potentially do better than Calvert Lewin on this one because his form has been pretty good now in the last five to ten games. Uh, Perhaps even slightly better than Coward Lewin. Coward Lewin was injured as well. He's back and fit now and should potentially do really good himself as well. I just trust Coward Lewin more because I've seen him um, do more miracle and um, good things this season than Rich Allison has done. And this is the main reason I go for Coward Lewin over Rich Allison. But I believe that both have excellent potential to do good in this one. And as for the last player and fixture I'm going to go for us, Wolves against West Ham. Um, now, Wolves defense have not been that good this season. They've allowed even 38 goals and they've allowed, uh, how many goals? They've allowed seven goals now in the last five. So yes, this is a defense I believe to, is good to go and target. West Ham have actually scored 45 goals. So yes, they can score a goal. They have not problem with that. They've, uh, they've scored even 7 goals now in the last 5, so yeah, this seemed to be a fixture to target as well. We see Wolves out of form defense and we see Wesem in form attack, especially one player I have in mind and that is Lingardinho. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lingardinho does seem to be an excellent player to own. He is amazing player and have been now in the last couple of games. He scored 2 goals since game week 22. He scored an in game with 22, then he scored an assist in game with 24, a goal in 25, assist in 26, goal in 27, miss game with 28 because he did, could not play against Manchester United, that is his um, father team. And then in game with 29, just because he missed a game where he was involved in two goals. So, yes, for the last eight games, he was involved in eight um, goals. So yes, this is the main reason I believe Linga does seem to be offering us excellent attacking FPL and potential on um, this one. And as for the goalkeeper replacement, I'm going to go for it. Does not need to be anyone in particular because in Mendy I trust Mendy is going to be my goalkeeper for this game week. I'm just going to go for any goalkeeper that costs around 3.9 million just to not waste your budget. And as I said, if I have the money, I'm actually going to upgrade Rudiger to Aspilicueta. And I believe that he does seem to be offering a slightly, slightly, slightly better attacking effort and potential than Rudiger because he does seem to be attempting a bit more assists than Rudiger. Well, they take the same amount of shots. 
And as for the last um, defend I'm going to go for, or the last bench replacement, which I believe is not even going to be used in this game. Uh, you could go for whoever you like. I'm just going to go for anyone that costs around 4.3 million. I don't know, we could potentially go for holding. Does he has chance to start? I don't believe that he has. He's not a guarantee starter. We could potentially even go for I know on this one just to complete the team. As you can see, this team is going to cost around 100 million. Mendy, Aspilicueta, Dallas and Target are going to be my starting defenders and goalkeeper. Mount, Lingard, Fernandez, Son and Rafinha are going to be my starting midfielders. Calvert Lewin and Kane are going to be my starting strikers. Well, Bamford is going to be the first bench replacement. Shaw is going to be the second bench replacement. And Aina is going to be the last bench replacement. I went for Aina because I just simply don't believe that the last bench replacement is going to start this game week. If you thought this video was of any help, then please do give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any new content. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.